Hey everyone, thanks for joining us on the first episode of Chirp Central, proudly presented by Victory Honda of Muncie. I'm Jack Kaiser, and tonight, along with all year long, we'll feed your appetite for total Ball State sports coverage. Highlights, interviews, and more for football, soccer, field hockey, and volleyball. There will be no stone left unturned. We start with football as Ball State gets ready to face Indiana in the season opener at Lucas Oil Stadium on Saturday. Here's a clip of Ball State's intro video that will play before the battle of the Cardinal and Crimson. We perform for our state, our school, and our fans. But we play for each other. When the lights are at their brightest, that's where the true identity shines or fades. It's going to be a fun scene at Lucas Oil. Head coach Mike New returns for his fourth season, while Captain Jacob White is back for his fifth. I think it's safe to say both are more than ready to roll come Saturday. When we came into training camp, I think the biggest difference for me was the shape, the chemistry of this football team, that you work hard during the two, two and a half weeks of training camp to kind of develop that at night. You learn about one another, you do team building uh, activities, and uh, that's been the biggest difference in my eyes, is just watching this team and the shape that it's taken. When it's your first game, uh, you have summer camp to prepare to, um, so it's not really a quick one week preparation um, as far as games two through 12. Uh, so you, you kind of get more preparation and more time for that, so we've definitely taken advantage of that. It's not a secret. Uh, you get what you work for, and, and for us on the practice field, uh, that's ultimately what we'll car carry over to the game on Saturday. When you get 12, 12 chances a year, uh, guaranteed, so we're, we're going to take advantage of it. Uh, we're, we're really excited, and um, if I could you know, fast forward, I would. It's time to get the 2019 season kicked off. Uh, to see the hard work that we put in since January, uh, believing that we uh, can win the game. I think it starts with that, making sure the mindset is where it needs to be, that we can compete with anybody. You know, playing uh, in front of a bunch of people in NFL Stadium, there's going to be nothing like that. We can accomplish anything we want to if we believe it, and it's going to start with that. Uh, just confident going onto the field, having a great warm-up, getting ourselves out of the locker room, getting the ball kicked off, and let's go play ball for four quarters and, and let the chips fall where they may. We're going to battle for the state, and uh, we're, we're going to see who comes out on top. Docker, meanwhile, already has over a week under its belt. Ball State was picked to finish second in the Mid-American Conference, coming off a MAC title game appearance last year. Their road to redemption started with not three, not four, not five, but six goals against Eastern Illinois on Friday. It was a day of first for the Cardinals as they soared past EIU with their most productive match since 2005. New head coach Josh Reif picked up his first win at the helm, and how about a hat trick? Sophomore Grace Alsup found the back of the net three times for Ball State's first hat trick since 2011. In a steeper task against Marquette on Sunday, it was a fruitless tug of war through 72 minutes. That was before senior Sam Campbell rescued Ball State with her first goal of the year. Marquette couldn't muster an equalizer down the stretch, and Ball State improved to 2-0. As you could probably guess, accolades followed the first week of action for Ball State, scoring seven goals and giving up a goose egg. Grace Alsup took home the Max Offensive Player of the Week with her hat trick against Eastern Illinois, while Tristan Studeville produced the only clean sheet in the conference, making five saves along the way. Congrats to Tristan, Grace, and the entire team. On the other side of Briner Sports Complex, Ball State field hockey had its own go at the Hoosiers last week. It wasn't regular season action, but a scrimmage to find out where they stood. As the teams went head-to-head, -head, head coach Stephanie Bernthal took some notes and discussed their process for the upcoming season. I think our main expectation was to come in better, faster, be a lot more aggressive, be able to play both sides of the ball better. We achieved one of them today, which is give up less defensively. It's huge for us. And then hopefully we can put more goals in. It's a rigorous game out there, so we do a lot of treatment, um, recovery, and being smart with our training. We've got a really cool high-performance monitoring system we use to kind of help with that recovery piece in our preparation. 
Volleyball is also awaiting the green light for 2019. The Cardinals made the hour trip up I-69 to Fort Wayne for their first live test in an exhibition against the Mastodon. Ball State did fall in five sets, but 14 different players saw action, including seven newcomers. Returning contributors this season include seniors Kate Avila, Sydney Van Beek, and reigning MAC setter of the year Amber Seaman. Ball State was recently picked to win the MAC West and will go for its third consecutive division title. The Cards open up their season with two Friday matches, the first against UAB at 10 a.m. and a matinee with USF at 7. Both matches are at Worthen Arena. There were plenty of great performances this week, and there will be in weeks to come. But here's our four players to watch around Ball State Athletics. Grace Alsep with her first career goals, all coming in the hat trick on Sunday. Riley Miller coming off a great season at wide receiver will be a key component in the Ball State offense this season. Miller ended 2018 with a touchdown catch in each of the final six games. Amber Seaman named the best distributor last season. It will be the centerpiece once again this year. And lastly, field hockey senior Michelle Shampton. She led the cards in goals last year and picked up right where she left off with a goal against IU in the exhibition. The highly anticipated meeting between Ball State and Indiana on the gridiron will bring fans from across the state to be special for everybody involved. Indianapolis native Brandon Martin shared how excited he is to take the field in his hometown on Saturday. Being able to play in Lucas Oil um, is going to be a really good experience for me. Growing up an Indianapolis guy, uh, growing up an Indianapolis Colt fan, um, I don't think it gets any better than uh, being able to play in Lucas Oil versus IU um, opening weekend of college football. I don't think it gets any better um, for a guy that grew up in Indiana um, and grew up in Indianapolis. So um, I think it's going to be awesome. I think the platform uh, to show a lot of people what Ball State football is all about. I'm really excited about it. That does it for us this week on Chirp Central, presented by Victory Honda of Muncie. All sports are in action this weekend, and we cannot wait to recap it all next week with you here in Studio B. To stay updated, keep in touch with us right here on social media and follow us elsewhere using at BSU SportsLink. For our fantastic SportsLink crew, I'm Jack Kaiser. Have a great weekend and Chirp Chirp.